Uh, hey. Hey. Hey, you remember me? Oh, I'm fucking back, baby. Look at all this shit in my yard. Look at all this fucking dog shit, just shit, just garbage. Gotta clean that out. Look at this stupid fucking van I bought. Why, why was I gone for so long and kind of distant? And then why am I back? Well, it's pretty simple, actually. One, I learned how to do cartwheels. See, I fucking, I fucking told you. I fucking told you. They, get, they fucking love that. Two, um, I beat the shit out of mental illness. I won, guys. It's over. There's no more mental illness now. I fucking, <laughs> I won. Um, long story short, I completely imploded in August, essentially, um, which led to the farm being completely downsized and me having to take a very long break. You know, it's funny. Everyone would always tell me that the OnlyFans thing would be the thing that, like, comes and gets me. It wasn't. It was just regular social media. It was the constant competition, self-worth. But hey, I won. Look at this treehouse I built this one. Time. This is a lot of great things that are coming out of this. I'll be personal training. We got NASM certified. Found a residency at a gym. Um, they they want to bring me on and they're really excited about it. And I'm really excited about it. But the other thing is, is the farm is coming back bigger, stronger, and happier than ever. I've already started to do a couple things. One, obviously, we still have chickens. Unfortunately, these chickens in this coop. This coop is called the Taj, by the way. Taj Mahal, right? Because it's fucking perfect. It's the first real monstrosity I built as the roof is coming off. These chickens are terrified of people because we only just fed them and gave them water. So they're not super... Look at them. They're on the corner of the poor fucking baby. Let's see. She's an own just one little egg. I'm going to steal her offspring. Thank you. Look at that. One egg today. Any more in there? Uh, no more. All right, I'm leaving. I'm fucking. I'm fucking off. They have all this water in here. Uh, that's that's water. See that? I'm a fucking farmer. That's fucking feed. But fish. How are we doing, buddy? Everybody remember fish? Fish is now our only hound dog because Boone passed away last year, last summer, which was really tough too. Now these chickens over here, they actually they're actually pretty cool. They're actually pretty nice. Do we have any eggs in here, ladies and gents? So I built this coop. The run goes all the way around to be completely predator proof. And I, I'm not bullshitting you at all when I tell you that the second night after I built it, a bear ripped in. <laughs> so I had to bore this. There it is, you know? The bear wants to get in, it's gonna get in. A little bit. <sighs> Ladies and gents, got any mamas in here? You got any eggs in here? Not a lot of eggs. There's not a lot of eggs because there's not a lot of sunlight. It's pretty much, the correlation is pretty direct. Um, so if I put, if I was thinking about running an extension cord, put in a little light in there at night, it'll give them a little night light, you know, and uh, which will help egg production. But the thing is, I also don't need to do that. And I'll show you the what why. Would you say hello to the little babies? The little babies. Then let you pick them right up. Just kidding. So this is Moo. Moo is definitely the most sociable of all the chicks. Um, but we have 24 in the brooder right now. And then once those hatch, they'll join these guys. We're also going to be doing quail. And quail are hilarious little birds that are actually more hardy than chickens, which is crazy because they're like a quarter of your size. You know what I mean? Bringing pigs. Excuse me? We're also bringing pigs back. This year, we're not doing Mangalitsa pigs with the giant pigs. If you guys remember, if you've been following for a while, uh, Captain Waddles, um, they're gone, unfortunately. But I think that's a good update. Huh, Moo? You say goodbye? You're such a good girl. You want to go back with your brother and sister? Come on. I love you unconditionally. Everybody who's just checked in, and uh, it means a lot. And I, we have a lot coming for you. If you're interested, I'm your guy.